Votes in Minnesota are rolling in and you as voters make up the popular vote, which shows which candidates most Minnesotans want to win the election. But another big part of the election process involves the Electoral College. Our Maria Bray joins us in the studio now to help us break down the role electoral votes have for the presidential race. Maria. Yeah, Tom, in Minnesota, the electors are bound, meaning they have to vote for the candidate that wins the popular vote. But what does this mean? It really comes down to these individuals who select the president. The Electoral College is part of the Constitution. And we've had a few cases in American history where it's been, you know, one person. I mean, essentially one person decided who the president was going to be. That would be 1876 as just an example. Iowa has six electors, while Minnesota has 10. The GOP and DFL electors have to be voted on by party members. So far, there are two from each party announced. Republican Representative Eric Lucero being one of those people. If President Trump wins the popular vote in Minnesota, I will then become an elector. And that is a huge honor. I mean, I mean, think of how the limited number of people. No Sheena Hussein is in for DFLers. The system is made for a certain demographic, <laughs> by a certain demographic, to serve a certain demographic. And so for us to be able to break through those barriers and really understand that process is a huge win. Hussein and Lucero will only be official presidential electors if their party's candidate wins. Then a total of 10 electors will cast their vote for their candidate. The winner of the popular vote in the state gets that state's electoral votes. And in most states, it's winner take all. In 2016, Donald Trump had 306 electoral votes and won against former First Lady Hillary Clinton, even though Clinton won the popular vote. Israel Sen says America is the only country electing the nation's leader this way. More and more, the Electoral College is being criticized as sort of an outmoded, outdated uh, entity. The reasons the Electoral College was created do not exist anymore. Uh, and so, um, you know, when you try to explain the Electoral College to someone from, say, another country, they kind of think, well, that's not the best way to do it. After votes on December 14th, for the, Min the Minnesota process is usually done at the state capitol. Reporting live in the studio, Kamaria Bray, KTDC News. Interesting.